So we all know that golf is super expensive sport, especially when it comes to golf clubs. Now with the latest golf drivers coming in at around $500 plus and complete set of irons well over $1,500, it's so hard to figure out what to do when you're a seasoned player on a tight budget, or it can even be worse when you're a new player of the game looking to buy your first set of new golf clubs. But the golf club set market has really taken off in recent years. What used to be a wasteland of forgettable brands and inferior golf clubs is now no longer the case. Some of the biggest brands in the game have come out with some really affordable golf club sets. And in today's video, we're taking the Callaway Strata Golf Club Set, the best rated golf club set on Amazon, out to the course just to see if it's any good. So let's get into it. All right, first up is this driver. We're on the first hole and it looks really nice. I mean, they do a really good job. At it. it looks real clean, but let's see how it works out there. Oh, it feels weird. All right, here goes the head's kind of smaller than I'm used to, but let's see. Holy crap. That was straight down the middle to the right. I will be, that was one of the best rides I have without even warming up today in a long, long time. So right out of the gate, this driver is legit. All right, on that first drive, holy crap. My Garmin S70 watch that I drove that 246. That's about what I hit my $600 Ping G430. So, I mean, this is crazy that my first shot of the day warmed up and it's already probably better than I normally do. So let's see how these irons work out. So what's really cool is you actually get nine clubs with the Stratus set. And it's telling me I should get a hybrid right now. And I love my hybrid. Here's the hybrid we get with the set. I mean, it's you know pretty beautiful club here. Let's see how it performs. Man, this feels like so small. All right, so this should be interesting. The head's a lot bigger than the hybrid head that I have. I'm hitting a Hanma, my normal hybrid, but let's see how this works out. Oh yeah, that's pretty legit. I mean, first two shots already, I can tell you guys, this set is pretty good. Okay, so I hit that hybrid shot, and according to my watch, I hit it 188, which is pretty good for the hybrid. Um, I hit a little bit further on my hybrid, but that's okay. I'll show you the positioning, though. I'm like about 50 yards from the pin, so I could be on in two here, or be on in three, and that's really good because the par five, so... I mean, right out of the gate, I can tell you guys that this set's not that bad. All right, so right now I'm running into my first dilemma. All you got is a pitching wedge. Now, I feel like I'm kind of spoiled because I actually carry four wedges with me. So, And I don't know what the degrees loft is on this. So, you know, I'm a little nervous because the only club I got, I don't even think I even have a sand wedge. No, I don't. Ooh, that's going to be tight. So I guess I shouldn't be hitting in the sand today, but I guess we just have the pitching wedge and let's see what we can do with it. All right, so we got the pitching wedge. Only club we got here, I'd probably definitely hit like a gap, maybe even my uh, sand, but hopefully we can do something with this pitching wedge and just barely hit it. We're so close. Yeah, a little too much. Dang. Yeah, it's hard to get finesse with the pitching wedge into this close, but Let's see if we can get par. So the putter you get reminds me a lot. It's a nice blade putter. Reminds me a lot of like a ping putter. A um, little small face, but uh, I mean, right now we're going for birdie on this putt. Um, it's a long putt because you can't really control the pitching wedge at this distance. But let's see if we can get this in. Oh my God. So that's the first problem right there. It just It doesn't even eat the shot. It's like hitting up a steel piece of metal okay this is my par putt the face in this thing the ball is going to be right off of it learn from that first putt so it's going to bounce a little harder than i'm used to so it'll go a little lighter here so i can save par oh you gotta be kidding me that was a good putt well i got a bogey but it broke the last second hit some crap right in front of the green Hey, this putter's not too bad actually. So, let's move on to the next hole. So on that last hole, I got a six. I mean, a three putted. 
but I mean, the, the irons itself, the driver, I was on in three. I, I was going for birdie. I just had to kind of get used to that putter. So now we're on a par three. It's over a lake. It's about 136. It's telling me to nine iron. Here's a nine iron. Looks really nice. I'm not sure what the distances are on these clubs. Um, if I had my normal club, it'd probably work out better. But I'm gonna go with the nine iron and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so 135. I don't know if this nine iron is the right club or not. That's the one thing when you get new clubs, you don't know the distances um, with them. We'll see if it was the right club. There's more, I think these are a little short. Yeah, I overdrove the green there. Um, straight as an arrow. Probably should have gone with the pitching wedge. These are heavier clubs, and I feel like the shafts are a little too short for me. But uh, I went straight, and we're going for uh, a birdie little chip. So as you guys can see, straight shot, you know, went past the green by about, I don't know, 20 yards. So maybe the 9 iron wasn't right the right club, maybe it's wrong with the pitching wedge. It's always hard to tell when you're hitting new clubs. But I mean, again, it's a really accurate club. And like I said, for right around $500, you're getting a full set of clubs. I mean, right now I'm playing about as well as if I was playing with my normal clubs. So let's see if I can get par or maybe even birdie on this hole. I can tell you guys right now, I totally miss my wedges. Having just a pitching wedge is a little hard for me. I feel like I'm being a little spoiled, but uh, it's gotta be a little more gentle, I think. Really gentle. Shut the front door, look at that. Might get par on this. Now this is crazy. Check this out, ready? And boom, par on the hole. That's awesome. Even though I was using a pitching wedge to chip it on. Super impressed, let's go on to the next hole. All right, so I'm gonna use my driver again. It's 460 cc's. That last drive was pretty good. Let's see if I can recreate that. It's much lighter, it feels like, than my ping. And there's the normal Paul swing right there. A little bit to the right, in the trees. Acts just like my normal driver. Let's go find out where it landed. All right, so I left myself a tough shot here. My watch is showing me about 190 to the front. The one issue I have right now is I don't have a five iron in this set. It gives you a six iron, but not a five iron. So I'm gonna go with a five hybrid. The last shot we had the five hybrid was about 190. So let's see if I can get a good shot on this. Please don't pull in the sand. All right, oh, stop, 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 stop. All right, cool. We're not in the sand. So yeah, I guess I could use that hybrid here. The sand, we didn't go in, so thank God. We'll use the pitching wedge, hope they get up on the green. That hybrid shot went about 152. I had a palm tree frond, so it kind of did that. Um, but I mean, it did give us really good positioning here, front of the bunker. Um, hopefully I can do a nice chip shot with this pitching wedge. Just look, I got used to that. Here, I probably hit a 56, and I honestly have no idea what the pitching wedge is here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, the grass up a lot more than I thought, but what are you going for here? Par? Let's do this. All right, so one of the issues with having a full set of wedges is it's hard to fill out finesse. But let's think of par here. Bam! Wow. Still was able to get par, it's crazy. All right, let's move on to the next hole. This is not too shabby. Of a putter. All right, so this is a par three. It's about 190 to the pin. There's bunkers on the front, left and front right. I don't have a five iron. So I'm gonna try this hybrid again, because this is the longest iron-ish club, even though it's the wood that I have. I uh, struck it well, but it's pulling a little right. Please don't go by the bunker. Ugh. Behind the bunkers, a very hard chip shot. I've done it before, but that's okay. All right, well, this is not where I wanted to land. Um, I hate this shot. I've done it lots of times. There's a big old bunker, and 
there's really no way of playing it and I have a pitching wedge. So hopefully I can not hit it in the sand and not hit it in the sand behind the pin. I mean, like I said before, it's really hard to have no finesse with just a pitching wedge. Yep, that doesn't happen. Right over the back of the green. Oh, God, I hate it. It's like no backspin on this either. That's okay. I didn't go in the sand at least. All right, so this sucks. Um, now it's even longer than it was before probably. Um, I'm gonna try to putt this on. This is for par. I'm gonna get somewhere close to the hole so I can at least get a bogey on this. Not too bad. All right. I got a long bogey putt here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Save the bogey. I am super impressed with this little putter. That's two putts I've made. Wow. Amazing. All right, let's go to that next hole. This is like 350 yards, par four. I just measured this driver against my dad's driver. My, I thought like these were a little short. Not sure. All right, not too bad. I don't feel like I get the same pop off this driver as I do my ping. I mean, it hits well, it just doesn't launch as differently, I guess. That drive wasn't super long, 200 yards. Um, I'm about 165 out, so I'll be a seven iron. I'm not really sure what the distances are, hopefully. I can get close to the green in this. Oh, I think I noticed I'm kind of pulling these a little bit right. I don't know if it's because of the length distances. We'll find out, but it wasn't too bad of a shot. Let's go find out. All right, so it wasn't that bad of a seven iron shot. What, 145, maybe 150? Mm, about 10 yards, 20 yards doesn't I normally hit it. Um, but again, you know, I have to use the pitching wedge for a chip shot. And uh, I really miss my wedges. That's, that's the truth. Yeah, see, bad bounce off that hill. Oh, makes life harder. It's real no control with wedges without having a full set. But going for par here on this putt, so see what happens. All right, going for par putt. <sighs> Let's see, it's breaking right. Too much poly, that sucks. That's the one thing I kind of get used to, I'm not used to the face on this putter, but Got a bogey, not too bad. Let's move on to the next hole. Hey guys, I really hope you're liking this video. Please do me a favor and like and comment down below what your thoughts are on the Callaway Stratus set. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I just love giving away the gear review to my subscribers. Yep. I'm not getting the same distance at all. Um, but it's still play, so that's okay. That was about a 200 yard drive, so it wasn't super far. Um, still in play, that's okay. Usually I hit it about by those trees most of the time. So I'm not saying it in the same distance, or it's was really hit and miss with the distance, but the accuracy is pretty good. I mean, 500 bucks, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on par for the day um, where I kind of normally am with my normal game. So let's see if I can get this up close. I really do miss a lot of my clubs. Oh, that's money. I think right now the hybrid is amazing. This little three hybrid. Up the fairway, so we land. All right, so that little hybrid shot was about 187 yards, which is crazy. I mean, it's like 15 yards less than that driver. Um, right now we're about 81 yards out. Um, I missed my wedges. Got this pitching wedge. I'm standing in a hole too. This should be a pretty interesting shot. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, I sculled it. That's hilarious. All right, well, time to regroup. All right, so that beautiful chip shot got me closer to the green, but on the edge of the green. I'm gonna use this pitching wedge again. So if I can get hopefully close to the pin, save par. Actually, say bogey. That might be too much. Oh, bad bounce. Oh man, it's so hard to control this shot. It's all right. So I feel like this is one of the weaknesses in having a full set, is you don't have like a set of wedges. And I feel like the short game is so important that like, I mean, like you saw, like I took me three shots to get here, like one to two shots to get here when I could have easily just chipped on. Um, so right now I'm trying to save a bogey with this putt. Um, I mean, all in all, it's a great set. It just, I think it's what you kind of get when you get a set of clubs. You don't get a full set of irons and everything else. Oh man, it broke. That's terrible what I get. Six. So I got double bogey on this hole and mainly because it's chipping. Um, so I think it's kind of one of the weaknesses, but let's move on to the next hole and keep on playing. All right, so this is a 330 par four. It's driver again. Sounded good. Put a little right. All right, let's go get it. Flag is behind the bunker and I, so I can't really like finesse it in. I'm gonna try to get on the green. Um, just a little chip shot. Hopefully I just get on the green here. There we go, that's where we want it. Come on, get up there, buddy. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Not too bad for what I got to play with. But all right, we're going for a long birdie putt. All right, so you guys have a super, super, super long putt. I don't think I'll make it, so I want to try to get close to the hole. Come on, go up the hill, go up the hill. There we go. Not too bad. All right, let's make it par here. All right, so breaking right. Bam! Holy crap. I can't believe I parred that. All right, around the last hole. Not too shabby. Let's move on. All right, so around the last hole. Here in the back nine, it's 400 yards. The one thing with the driver, it's a little inconsistent. I mean, I had that first drive was like 240, I've had 200. Um, look at the face. I'm straight on the face. So, um, but all in all, it's been getting in the fairway, and that's really all that matters. All right, so I lost my tee. So his buddy landed. All right, so here we drove the ball 200 yards again. Um, I just like fairway. I'm gonna hit this three wood. I mean this three hybrid. Let's see if I can get it up closer. This is gonna have a five iron. Now I hit it solid. Where are you going, buddy? Please don't go in the sand. Oh, good, I'm right at the edge. Sick, all right, cool. Pretty far too. All right, so the funny thing is here, we just hit this 180 yards, the hybrid. I hit the driver 200. So the inconsistency in the driver, you know, as you kind of see on some of these drives, you know, like I said before, between two, 200 and 240, on my drives, which is weird. Um, again, hard chip shot here because all I have is a pitching wedge, but I mean, for the day so far, I'm pretty impressed with what the clubs can do, how much you're getting for the price. Shut up, no way. Woo! Going for par. I'm gonna actually make this. 
All right, so we're going for par. It's like a straight shot, breaks a little bit left. It's like get par on this hole. Ba bam! Holy crap, dude. All right, we got par. That's unbelievable. This putter is money. I've, I haven't hit this many putts in a long, long time. I'm, I mean, the putter, the putter alone is worth every dollar of this bag. Um, I can't believe my accurate this putter is great. I mean, putters cost this much by itself. So, what an amazing round. I, I am really impressed with the Callaway Stratasat. To be honest, I'm just blown away with these golf clubs. Yes, I could get more yards off the driver and the hybrid, and I do miss my four golf wedges. However, the putter was nothing short of amazing. So if you're a beginner golfer looking for a decent set of golf clubs that will perform, or a veteran hack like myself, then look no further than the Callaway Golf Club Set. I would highly recommend it to any of you guys out there who are on a budget. Now there's links down below if you wanna go check it out. But if you wanna see what we thought of the new PXG Gen 6 driver, one of the most popular golf drivers of the year, then check out this video right here where I get fitted for one. And I'll see you out on the course.